Uganda's only radiotherapy machine is broken, leaving thousands of patients without access to cancer treatment. The machine was over 30 years old and had broken down several times in the past. Granny Harrington has more from Kampala. At the main hospice in Kampala, they do everything they can to make patients comfortable in their final days. Bronia is 28 years old. She was diagnosed with cervical cancer last year. With help from the hospice, she traveled 300 kilometers to Kampala for treatment. But now, after waiting over three weeks, she's been told to leave. The radiotherapy machine she was counting on for life-saving treatment is broken, and it can't be fixed. I felt pain because I, I thought that if it works, we, sh we are going to be okay and we get to recover. It has pained me because I have not yet produced any children. Even I've got loss of weight, breathing every time. This radiotherapy machine was a lifeline when it was brought to Uganda over 21 years ago, offering cancer patients life-saving treatment and relief from unbearable pain. But experts say it should have been replaced years ago. It had already broken down several times and exposed patients and staff to dangerous radiation. Dr. Jackson Orem is in charge of Uganda's Cancer Institute at the Malago Hospital in Kampala. He says a new machine was bought in Vienna three years ago, but the special bunker needed to house it was never built. Now, he says, with extra funding from the government, the new machine can finally be brought over, but it will still take time. If they can even work 24 hours, within six months, we should have the bunker ready. Yeah, so that means uh, the next uh, half of the year, we should be installing the equipment and testing it. So by one year, it should be up and running. For many, a year may be too long to wait. This country had been at the forefront of cancer care in the region. Patients travelled from all over Uganda, but also from Rwanda, Burundi and parts of Kenya and Tanzania to be treated here. It's estimated that 75% of cancer patients in this country need access to radiotherapy treatment. So why has it taken so long to ensure the equipment here is safe and up to date? The hospital blames funding, but some say there's a much bigger problem. The Cancer Institute, when it appears before Parliament, they'll say the money you've given us is not enough. But even the money that is allocated to this Cancer Institute, oftentimes it's not absorbed. It's not, it does not do what it's supposed to do. Yes, so it's, it's a whole systematic issue. Patients who have the money are being advised to go to neighbouring Kenya for treatment. The government now says it can help some of them with funding. But for the majority, like Bronia, the only option is to go home and wait. Gronia Harrington for VOA in Kampala.